Welcome back. We've been sharing stories in honor of Black History Month, but one of our own reporters has been on her own journey to learn about her own family's history. You just heard from her a moment ago. Carice Jackman just made a major discovery. News 4's Flora Sanders tells her story. You need resources, databases, Rolodexes of phone numbers when you're a consumer investigative reporter. Hi, good morning, ma'am. This is Carice Jackman calling from News 4. And every day, Carice is on the job. Thank you. Some familiar faces are watching. That's my family. If I am having a stressful day, I kind of look over to my right and just see them smiling. But there's one family member Carice has never had the clear story about, her great-grandfather. His story is a truly global one. Far from where Carice is now, her great-grandfather comes from more than 2,700 miles away. At the time when my great-grandfather arrived, it was British Guiana, especially for you know, a lot of African Americans, when it comes to, to their past, you feel like you always hit a glass ceiling at a certain point. Um, you can only trace back to a certain amount. There was something Carice had to find. Before he died, her great-grandfather had written a book about his life story. The question was where in the world she could find it. She started her usual searches. And now it was a situation of like, okay, this is personal for me. Finally, one day, the answer came. A bookseller had it in England. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Carice has just been sent the story of her great-grandfather, Arthur R. Davis. And the guy was so kind, he emailed me back and he said, if you're the relative, you can have it free of charge. The only thing you have to pay for is a postage. And immediately I was like, oh my God, I'm cheering up because finally I'll have this book in my hands. She started reading. You know, he talked a little bit about growing up in British Guiana. Around 1916, he enlisted with the British West Indies Regiment, which was mainly people of African descent being a part of World War I. And they went clear across to Egypt um, via Gibraltar, black soldiers from the Caribbean fought in these wars. You know, I'm proud, I'm proud that he fought, I'm proud that he had the courage to do it in a time where I'm sure was not easy for him. And to me that, yeah, he is a hero to me. You know, I'm proud of him and what he could accomplish in life, so definitely. In Nashville, I'm Forrest Sanders, News 4. And I imagine he'd be proud of her, too. Oh, yeah. It's so important that we found out about our roots so we know and understand who we are today. Absolutely. I understand she teared up a little bit. I, I want to tear up yeah. for her. I think it's a great story. It's a great story.